Welcome to another Dark Nook video. A lot of people are asking me, why did I make these videos about Tessie Smollett? Because it's not my usual content. I make monsters and props and masks and that sort of FX maker content is what my videos are usually about. Not debunking clout chasers or other internet drama. But this situation was a weird bit of crossover. Because of my experience making monsters and props, I've used a lot of Gorilla Glue. In fact, you can see me using it in several videos on this channel. I have a lot of experience working with this stuff. So when I saw those first videos, I knew immediately that she was lying. But so what? Scammers lie on social media all the time. Who cares, right? But then two things happened. First, people started dragging Gorilla Glue, like it was their fault. Even talking about legal action against the company. Second, the follower types started up with Gorilla Glue challenges and were putting Gorilla Glue in their hair and shit. So I figured I'd make a video that hit both points. I'd show that she was full of crap and this glue didn't behave the way she was claiming it did. Her hair in those videos was too neat and styled. I said there was no way she could have styled it with the Gorilla Glue in it. And if she just used the spray afterwards, there's no way it would be that clean. Her hair would be white and crusty looking. Plus, the spray would never permeate the hair. So I made a demo video showing this. Miss December Reed stepped up and laid the smack down on this foolishness by making a video showing exactly what I was talking about and using her own hair to do it. Now that's a real ass sister right there. Check out her full video if you haven't already. The link is in the description. And the other reason I made the video was basic shop knowledge to show people how to get this glue out of your hair or off your skin. If you work with adhesives, you're going to get them on you eventually, and you need to know how to safely remove them. So what did I tell you that you needed to do to get Gorilla Glue out of hair and off of skin? It was simple. Goo Gone. Spray it on, rub it in, and comb it out. Now Goo Gone is an adhesive remover, and most adhesive removers have the same few ingredients, naphtha, delimonene, or acetone. Sometimes all three, sometimes a mixture of one or two of those, depending on the materials that you're trying to remove the glue from. Well, Gorilla Glue Girl went to this big high-end plastic surgeon for extra special elaborate procedures to have this glue removed. Fools are on the internet calling it a surgery. If that's a surgery, then I guess I just had an outpatient procedure performed at Supercuts. Because all this guy did, he sprayed on adhesive remover, rubbed it in, and combed it out. Oh, but you say it must have been some special mixture of rare secret chemicals, right? Nope. According to the doc, it was... This medical grade adhesive remover hmm. that we use in the operating room. Uh, the company was very generous to us. I had an MGD to it, okay, which is uh, aloe vera and olive oil mixture, okay, and then we add a little, a little um, acetone, a little acetone. So now that I've been proven right about everything I said, it's all right there. I just have a little message for all the haters in my comments. What kind of person to say a toad so? But you know what? A toad so. A fucking a toad so. I told you so. I told you so. I told you so, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. So fucking fuck you. Ooh, ooh, ooh.